opened 180 years ago, almost 8,000 kilometers away from the city of London. In the heyday of the British Empire, and still fully operational today, among India's oldest active cemeteries. Sixteen thousand graves on over a hundred thousand square meters. The final repos of more than a hundred and twenty five thousand souls. Where the purest forms of European cemetery sculpture still survive on marble, granite, sandstone, redstone two centuries and two continents away from where they came. At the Lower Circular Road Cemetery in Kolkata, India, managed by the Christian Burial Board. Splendid Gothic structures, imposing Corinthian columns, from strictly European to Indo-Saracenic, showcasing Kolkata's cultural diversity, neighboring with Netherlandic styles. Alongside 332 graves of Kolkata's once thriving Armenian merchant community. Here lie the mortal remains of many who steered the course of history governor of Bombay and British envoy to Kabul, whose assassination marked the first Afghan rebellion. Visionary educationist who brought women's education to India. Literary genius who introduced modern epics, stage theater, blank verse and sonnets to Bengali literature. German orientalist settled in Kolkata first English translator of Emperor Akbar's Persian Chronicle. British missionary who toiled for India's independence. Close counsel to Mahatma Gandhi. One of the greatest Indian sports stars of all time. Unbeaten hat-trick in Olympic gold. And just across the street stands Asia's oldest gas crematorium last used in 1978, built on the cemetery's grounds. But time tells a different story. Rats digging deep under the vaults, weakening foundations, leading to collapse. Lingering monsoons and sustained moisture ingress, corroding the once robust substrates. Plus, the stress of extreme tropical summers, cracking open entire vaults. Diverse factors threaten the existence of this priceless gift of history. Including vandalism, before the cemetery had full-time security. This precious pre-Raphaelite specimen, for example, painstakingly restored by an eminent sculptor, unmanageable volumes of plant litter too, from hundreds of trees that have grown on their own. A welcome carbon sink in one of the world's most overpopulated zones, which used to be outside city limits when the cemetery was built in 1840. Restoration has started against all odds on a pilot scale with token donations from BAXA, the British Association for Cemeteries in South Asia. Six tombs and vaults have been saved from the brink of extinction in strict compliance with the archaeological and structural norms for heritage structures, adding another two centuries to their life. As non-profit custodians, 
The Christian Burial Board has no resources to restore abandoned graves of a past era. But the board has a plan. Mapped in nine segments, the board has audited the entire cemetery and identified 853 endangered graves in 686 plots, prioritized in three levels of vulnerability. Estimates by qualified engineers put the average restoration cost at 215 US dollars per plot. That's where the board appeals to the conscience of the community. In memory of all those here in eternal repose. In memory of all those who gave their best for a heritage we share. If you believe that preserving history is the duty of the endowed, if you believe that this inheritance must survive to inspire future generations, help us keep this consecrated ground alive in the legend of Kolkata.